Hi, Preston Salen here with Home Inspection Carolina, and today I wanted to talk to you about Chinese drywall. Um, haven't talked about this in a while. It was a really big issue uh, several years ago. So, so basically, what happened was it was a really big housing boom, uh, 2000, 2001 to 2008, and uh, supply. Uh, I mean, demand for drywall and other building materials out um, exceeded supply. And then we had a couple of hurricanes, most notably Katrina, and that really put a crimp on uh, supply and increased demand. Um, so in that time period, we imported drywall from China. Drywall is not usually something that we import uh, just because it's very heavy and not that expensive, so it's not a great thing to... Uh, to import is compared to other things you can import, but uh, during that particular time, uh, you know, it, it was. And so there's some arguments about how they make it in China. Uh, some say they use this uh, ash that uh, it doesn't bond very well. See, drywall gypsum uh, has sulfides in it, and, and, and our drywall has sulfides in it. Um, as long as it's bonded and stayed together, you're okay. But if it starts to break down and off gas, uh, different uh, sulfide uh, components or, or gases are released into the air and it's bad because it's oxidizer for metal, causes all types of uh, respiratory issues uh, for people. So we're talking about that particular time period. So what happened was people who had this drywall um, and let me let me add this. Uh, they think maybe it wasn't manufactured the best. I don't know about that, but maybe. But then you add in crossing the ocean when it's where it's really humid, and that adds to uh, the stuff breaking down. Uh, and then being installed in the south because it was near seaport cities, um, that uh, caused you know problems, and uh, that's where it started to off gas. Um, so I, they don't really know if it was the manufacturing or if it was the uh, the uh, the uh, the crossing the ocean, but whatever that humidity uh, caused it to break down and off gas, which created the problems. So what what are the problems? Oxidizing metal, uh, air conditioning coils rusting out, um, metal oxidizing and uh, eventually shorting. Um, hinges on doors, things like that start to rust or turn black. Uh, telltale signs are a rotten egg smell, uh, things in the metal in your house that are metal turning black or oxidizing, silverware, hinges on your door. Uh, if you could pull a plate off one of your electrical panels um, and you see that ground wire, it should be bright shiny copper. Um, if it's not and it's black or oxidized, uh, yeah, it's a good chance that uh, you know you, you've got something causing it to rust, which could be Chinese drywall, depending on some other things. Um, now, it uh, also causes respiratory uh, issues for a lot of people. It's not thought to be fatal, um, but it can cause all types of uh, respiratory issues. So, do you have Chinese drywall or not? Um, and where was it found? Uh, it was found in North Carolina, where I'm from. Uh, it's usually near, closer to seaport cities, the Gulf Coast and Florida. Uh, not a whole lot of evidence of it being further up north because you add on all the cost. It just didn't make sense to do that um, in, the, in the first place. But, okay, so first of all, if you have a rotten egg smell, when was your house built? If your house was built in 1997, 2018, a very slim chance it's going to be Chinese drywall. is probably something else causing that rotten egg smell, a like water heater, the anode rod, or something like that. But if you fall between that 2001, 2008, all right, what else? Um, is, is there oxidation? Can you get to some of the metal components in your house? Do you notice any oxidation? Things like that. Uh, if you have metal in your house, silverware, guitar strings, things like that, are they oxidizing? Um, and then another thing you could do is try to get to the back of the drywall. Um, now, obviously, you know, this is the outside of the drywall. I couldn't get to the back of it here, but I could get to the back of it up in the attic. You have to pull some insulation around. Try to find the printing on it. Uh, take a picture of it with your phone or whatever, and then come down and, and Google it and, and find out if it was linked to Chinese drywall. I know f uh, for a fact that Knauf, K-N-A-U-F, uh, was one of the uh, uh, stamps that was linked to it. And uh, if it has ATCM 36, 
Uh, and there's some others, but I know that off the top of my head from when we were doing this. But uh, hopefully you don't have Chinese drywall. And it, it is a problem that I think, you know, they're just about, you know, it, it was a big problem a couple of years ago, but I think they pretty much found most of it, but there may still so be some of it out there. So what year was your house built? Um, do you have that rotten egg smell? Uh, are things oxidizing? And uh, see if you can find the back of the drywall. Uh, if you have all those things, I would definitely get it tested. Well, this has been Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina. If you need a home inspection in Charlotte, uh, Raleigh, or Asheville, uh, give us a call or go to our website at homeinspectioncarolina.com. Thanks a lot for watching.